Coming up on this edition of OES News in Depth. The flu is widespread. We'll be talking to the California Department of Public Health what you and your family can do to remain safe. <coughs> Thanks for joining me today. Our guest is Dr. James Watt with the California Department of Public Health, and he's in Richmond, California. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Watt. My pleasure. So the CDPH has issued a widespread flu activity uh, report saying that it's, there's quite a bit of flu throughout the state. So why is this year different from previous years? Well, that's a great question. Every year about this time, we see a significant increase in flu activity. So that part is not unusual. It is important for people to know that the flu is out there and circulating in the community. What is unusual this year and what we wanted people to be particularly aware of is that the disease that's out there appears to be more severe this year than we have seen in previous years. Is there a particular part of the state that's being affected by the flu, or is it widespread? Uh, this year, influenza is uh, widespread, as it is every year, um, so it is certainly throughout the state. What we did see this year was that the season started in Northern California, so in, towards the end of December, beginning of January, that's when things really started to increase in the north, and that things are really starting to increase now uh, in Southern California, but we are certainly seeing flu throughout the state. And is it targeting a specific age group or, or persons? Um, this year, what we're seeing is that the greatest um, incidence of hospitalization is in older people, so people over age 65. That's what we usually see with influenza, so this year is similar uh, in that regard. And how is this strain stronger than previous strains? Is it a little bit different or? There's one dominant strain that we're seeing this year. It's called influenza A H3N2. Um, that's a strain that is included in the um, influenza vaccine. But when we see uh, seasons that where this virus predominates, the disease does tend to be more severe. And what precautions are you recommending people take to avoid the flu? Well, there's a couple of things. The first is, and most importantly, people should be vaccinated. And it's not too late to be vaccinated. When flu circulates, it usually stays around for a couple of months. So people who get vaccinated now can still benefit. And I would really urge people who haven't been vaccinated yet to get the vaccine now. We recommend vaccination for everyone aged six months and above. There are also some other common sense things that people can do to protect themselves from the flu and other wintertime viruses as well. Um, influenza is not the only virus that's out there. Things that people can do are wash your hands often or use alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Stay away from people who are sick, particularly if you are someone who has underlying health problems. If you yourself are sick, stay home and don't spread your viruses to your friends or coworkers. Um, avoid touching your eyes or your mouth or your nose if you haven't washed your hands. That's how these viruses are spread. And finally, if you are coughing, cover your cough to reduce the spread of um, viruses to others. So for someone like me who got vaccinated back in October, is it beneficial to get vaccinated again or will that vaccination last throughout the season? That vaccination will last throughout the season. So you only need one dose, um, except for very young children who are getting flu vaccine for the first time. But for most people, one dose protects you throughout the season. And if family members in the house get sick and have the flu, how long does the virus remain within the home? Um, well, it can be contagious in the home uh, for several days, particularly if it's passed from person to person. Um, but someone who has fever and cough um, does remain infectious for a day or two after they start to feel better. So if you're caring for someone in your home, it's really important that you wash your hands regularly, make sure that um, you have, that sick people have their own towels and cups and things like that. Um, and uh, do everything that you can to um, prevent the spread of those respiratory secretions that uh, carry the viruses with them. Well, that's very good advice, and we really appreciate you taking time today, Dr. Watt, to join us. 
and uh, we wish you good health as well. Thank you.